Okay, now we're going to go ahead and review the uh, American Audio DCD Pro 310. Now this is a good one. I bought it at Six Star DJ when I was down in LA for we went down there for you know vacation. So when I was down there, I was like, "Hey, Six Star DJ is down in LA. Why don't I go check it out?" So I did. Pretty nice store. They got a lot of they got a lot of speakers, a lot of good stuff. And I was like, "I need a new uh, CD player. So why not buy this one?" And so I did. And it was one hundred and eighty dollars flat, no sales charge or nothing. That's what I like about Six Star DJ. They have good service. They're good people. They you know give you good deals. Now with this mixer or this uh, CD player doesn't have a stop button if you look over here raise this up a little bit there we go it does not have uh, a uh, stop button you probably can't see anything but um, it's got your Q button which you need your play your uh, loop your reloop your search search is for if you're in the song you know go through it track plus 10 repeat signal or single, excuse me, your percent, your pitch. Now the good thing about this one, these mixers, is you can choose your pitch, you know, or this amp, good God, I can't speak it today. The CD player is you can choose your pitch from 4%, 8%, or 16, depending on how much. So if you're at, you, you know, you need like one beat, you have a song 137 BPM, and then you have one 136, you're not gonna wanna go 16% and go, oh, because that's just not going to work, you know. So that's why you have four because it's easier. Then you got your pitch on, your pitch bend for plus 16 minus 16. Now on this one I like is uh, it's got a relay button right there. You click it, it'll automatically go back and forth. All you have to do is uh, put your crossfader in the middle of both, uh, you know, tracks up, you know, like that, and your of course that, and then pretty much you do that it'll go back and forth of course what it won't like automatically crossfade it's pretty much you know three two one zero boom starts playing this track over here so and that's pretty much that then you have your pitch control or your jog wheel I should say that's pretty much what is what is up here now let's go down below some Now you probably can't see it very well because it's not lit, but right here, as you can see, you have the dual CD player. Pretty much like anything else, you got your power button, open for left and open for right. <clears throat> and pretty much it's that. Now this CD player, um, it's got one output to go where you have the um, fader or the thing that goes output into the CD player to control it. It's only got one, not two like this one up here. So it's less cables to worry about. Now, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you my taste on this. I like this. Um, I like the CD player. It's a good deal. You know, it does what I need to do. I don't do like all this, uh, you know, scratching, mixing, anything like that. You know, nothing. I don't do much of that. All I really do with my CD player is, you know, play, play over, and then play. You know, beat mixing occasionally. It's when you need the cue. You know, jog wheel play and uh, yeah so pretty much how you uh, set up a cue point it's pretty much like a normal CD player you play you find the part you want pause it jog it and find until you find the beat you want it and then hit play you got yourself a cue point you know so, so it's like that <sighs> I'm getting tired of doing the videos and then you got your eject button up here now I like the I like this it's good. Uh, I like my equipment to be black. As you can see, most all of it is. Not very good view. Except for this one. It's like the first CD player I had. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it worked. And then it stopped working. Took it down to Denver. When I was down in Denver, we took it there. And then it started working, so I had to spend 25 bucks. Ripped me off. Whatever. You know? It's how it works. You know, had this. So this side wasn't working. Or this side wasn't working. And then you take it in to get it fixed. It starts working. Then you gotta spend money because you know they take their time playing a CD through it. Rip off. Whatever. It's where I bought my speakers from. Gave you a five-year warranty. Twenty-five bucks off each speaker stand. Anyways, Soundtown in De Denver, Colorado. Anyways, over here we have. You know, it's pretty much the CD player, and also it has the Q start. 
So if you have a Denon mixer up here where you have your little butt, your little switch, click, click, it'll cue start where pretty much a cue start is, say you have two songs. You're playing off deck B right now. So we'll zoom up in here. Say you're playing off deck B over here. You have your crossfader over here too. Now, so pretty much what you'll do is pretty much um, you have deck A and B in there. Deck a, B is coming to an end. You can start fading over there, and then deck A will automatically start playing for you. Now, there are a lot of mixers out there today, especially um, Denon makes them. Denon has them integrated and uh, American Audio. I'm not sure. I haven't been checking out many other mixers, but those are the two you'd have to sum on there. And pretty much it's a mini jack that goes out into there. And I haven't used it, so I can't really tell you much more about it. That's all I know. It'll start playing as soon as you crossfade. It's a good feature, you know. But, yeah. So, you know, and my tip is, always have a backup, a backup uh, resolution. So, you know, you have this CD player. You know, if you're playing, you know, songs, this one drops out or something. You have my, I've got my laptop, you know. So I can start playing stuff off of that, you know, fade back and forth. Might have to switch stuff out on the mixer. But anyways, and then it works. But if you have, say, your computer fails, and you have one of these not working, pop in your backup mixer, which I don't, or amp, or CD player, good God, I can't speak today, which I don't have down here because, A, I don't have enough space in. The, like I said, the box is like 45 pounds. Each CD player is like 22 pounds. Actually, this is probably like 5. The mixer is like, what, 11, 8 pounds or so? I don't know. And then you got the amplifier, which is like 48 pounds. So you got yourself a hefty box there. You don't want to have to look around. And then you put another 12 pound CD player in there. That just makes it heavier, more hell. Anyways, up next, the Behringer B1800, or excuse me, Behringer EP2500 amplifier.